Okay, so the last thing is wind. And I, I don't know if you realize, I, I'm not trying to give you a song and dance here. These are just practical ways of looking at green roofs. And when you're looking at wind, I saw another test. I mean, uh, there's a difference between wind erosion, sort of surface erosion, and wind uplift. And there's been a bit of sort of monkeying around with that in the industry to make it seem as if somebody's product is very wind resistant. What makes a product wind resistant? Well, this is a wind test chamber. Looks eerily familiar to the, the fire test chamber, but um, essentially the difference is when wind comes out over the top of a parapet wall, it creates a vacuum. And it's that vacuum that creates uplift. So it pulls things up. How do you counter that? Well, one way to counter wind erosion is just by putting an erosion net down till the vegetation has established. So if you blew, you know, once the vegetation is in place, if you blew 150 miles an hour along the surface of this vegetation, it'd probably hang in there for a couple hours. Dry out, not look so great, but it'd probably hang in there. The more important thing is wind uplift. What kind of ballast do you have? What kind of countermeasure do you have to stop your green roof from being lifted up? One of the things that's commonly used is pavers. We all know that. Make sure they're elevated so they allow drainage. The most common one is some sort of stone ballast to hold you know, down the, uh, the roof in those situations. And uh, it's also used for um, protection of the membrane. But it's one of these things where you need a certain amount of pounds per square foot to counter that wind uplift. Um, I used to sort of uh, uh, push things like this because uh, if you have ventilated products, then it's a lot harder to suck them up than if they were solid products. And uh, that's true to a certain extent, but what we found out lately is uh, it's not enough to sort of counter the effects of uh, floating insulation. So. The most simple thing for me when I looked at this whole wind uplift issue is you either have to add weight per component, so you have to make your growing medium and everything super heavy to counter wind uplift pressures, or you have to lock everything together. If your whole system is locked together, it's very difficult. Then you spread that weight to such an extent that it would be very difficult to bring that up off of a roof. So what I try to do is lock components together. So what we're looking at is we're locking vegetation-free pavers to the edging, which locks to the drainage board, which all locks together. On top of that, you have growing medium, and once it's rooted in and vegetated, it basically becomes locked together on its own. That's it for my talk. Thank you very much.